Now, one thing that I love about this steamer is that it's multi-level. It means that you can get lots of different ingredients all in at the same time without them interfering with each other's flavours. So what we're going to do first of all is fill this full of water, just in the bottom. Very simply, just pop the water in, follow the level on the outside, which is there. And then pop the lid on the top. Now switch it on. We can just basically put this on for about 10 minutes. That's what we're looking for. Okay, and then pop the whole top on. Now, turn our attention to our ingredients. We've got in here, this is like a, a sea bass dish, but with a classic, what the chefs call the sauce vierge, which is very simple. It's just a dressing made of lemon juice and olive oil to keep it nice and healthy. And on the healthy thing, we're going to use these Chinese greens. You can, of course, use cabbage for this. You can cook carrots in here, broccoli, anything like that, you can steam in here. But we've got these nice little Chinese greens that lend themselves really well to steaming. So we just rip this open like that. And then into the bottom of this, I'm going to grab some fresh basil. Just some fresh basil leaves with the stalks. And we just literally put the Chinese greens in there already. You can see it's already steaming. Now these greens are going to take a little bit longer to cook than our sea bass, so they can go in the bottom. The next level, we can then pop that bit on there. We can then grab our sea bass here, nice fillet of sea bass. You can of course use chicken for this. The only difference is you cook it for a little bit longer. Fish like this you're looking at probably no more than about five minutes. For chicken you're probably going to steam it for at least ten. Grab your fish, a little bit of salt. Not too much, remember. Some black pepper. There we go. And then we can place our fish on this level. So just pop it in. And take the next bit and place it on the top. Now while that's steaming, we can lift off the lid, remove our bit of plastic. Be careful because obviously steam is hot. So just take off our plastic. Now this enables you to cook lots of different things in here, including sauces. Now like I said, a vieille sauce is very, very simple. It's basically lemon and olive oil. But what we're going to do is just change it slightly and pop in some diced tomato to keep it nice and healthy. So just chop this up. These have been de-seeded. and pop it into the bit of plastic which is there into the tray some coriander seeds not essential but really nice then you just crush those with the back of a knife so touch your coriander seeds that can go in there some shallot just some diced shallot or you can use onion nice for this the juice and zest of one lemon. Now this is the secret of the dressing, that it's the acid to go with olive oil. It's that combination. So you grab, grab some zest. Lemon juice. A good amount. Roughly it's about one part lemon juice to four parts olive oil. So don't be frightened to put plenty in. And then finally, we can pop in some really good quality, and it needs to be good quality this, extra virgin olive oil. Now that, as it stands, is a simple brioche sauce. But what I've got in here, just to add it, a nice glamour to this dish, we've got some shrimps. These little brown shrimps. Famous, of course, for the Morecambe Bay potted shrimps. These are the little brown shrimps. They come frozen, very, very good. And we're going to put some basil. Any soft herb that you've got, you can use basil, you can use chives. Um, hard herbs such as rosemary, thyme, you wouldn't necessarily put in with this. So they need to be soft herbs, as in the leaves can be bent. So we pop the herbs goes in. A little bit of salt. And some black pepper. And you see you've got that nice sauce that's going to be delicious with this simple little bit of steamed sea bass. And then carefully lift off the lid, place the sauce in, we can just warm this up. This will take about another three to four minutes. Now to serve this, just carefully 
lift out the tray. Remember, this is hot. I'll get rid of that one. You've got your sea bass, which is perfectly cooked. You tell that it just gives a little bit of resistance on the top. And I can lift that out. Got a nice bit of fish, which is there. And then the greens. This is the secret about steaming. You get all the nice colour from the veg. You don't lose any of it. And of course, it's healthy for us as well. So you can see the same colour of what these went in. That's what they're going to look like on the plate. Very, very quick cooking. Often with steaming, people think it takes a lot longer. This is actually quite quick. Place that. A lovely bit of fish on the top. And then finally, we've got that classic, classic sauce. Which is just delicious. Made of just olive oil, lemon juice, those shrimps, herbs, a bit of the crushed coriander seeds. And there you have it, steamed sea bass with Chinese greens and a classic sauce vierge.